talk to talk through makeup tutorial and today we're gonna do one because this video is like super delayed just going to clip my hair back I've already filled in my brows and I've primed my face primed my eyelid so that we can just jump right into the tutorial so you guys had like requested this video from me and I recorded it and it ended up the quality started to come out like shiz nat so I'm going to go ahead and do this now I just found out basically that my ring light is not freaking effed up like I thought that it was and I've been sitting here basically for two weeks thinking that my ring light was broken like taking terrible pictures for Instagram and you know when you just take selfies that you're like this shit sucks that's what I did so I'm just putting painterly all over the lid per usual just so you guys know I know some people don't like talk through tutorials like at all like if you're not a big youtuber people just get freaking annoyed of you talking so if you don't like me talking then you know where the X is. Thank you for stopping by. I'm really messy with this, you guys, just so you are aware. Because basically this is just going to make the color pop. This whole entire uh, makeup look was super messy. So I was surprised that you guys actually wanted to, to see it on me. So right now I'm setting MAC Painterly on my lid. I used to not do this and then I watched... Desi Perkins, like, she always sets her freaking lid. And I feel like it's just totally transformed my eye looks. So, I'm going to go in with my Morphe E23 brush. I got these Morphe ones 50% off, so, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go in this color Real Gar. This orangey shade right here. And this is what we are going to put in the crease. And I recommend tapping it off because when I did do that look, it was I'm literally going to feel where my brow bone is and put it in there. So when I said that this was messy, like, I literally took that shit into the brow. And then you can just build up color as much as you feel is necessary i just doing what you guys requested and you guys requested this so just gonna layer this up and blow it out and that's your freaking transition color so moving on to the next one to the next colors i went into this red ochre color right here and i'm just gonna use the same brush and i'm gonna put it a little bit lower I'm actually going to mix that with Venetian Red. I think that might have been what I did. I'm just going to do it a little bit lower than the color we already placed on there. And literally the key is to just blend the shit in. And I'm still going pretty deep into like my, like my nostril, <laughs> my nostril, my nose. I didn't tap this off. So that's why it was so harsh the first time. And you only do that if you're confident, which I don't know why I'm confident right now. It can all be cleaned up later, girl. So then it feels like a lot of pink and red and whatnot, but we are literally going to go in with the color Love Letter, which is a freaking bright ass pink color right here. And this is what's going to go on the lid. And I tried to make sure that I really like packed it on because since my skin is darker darker as in I ain't pale I um I want the color to really pop but I can say that these colors are super pigmented like I could probably get away with um not using any type of a base on my eye and it would still look right so I'm gonna go back with that Morphe E23 that I used first and buff out the edges and if you lose any of the pigmentation on your eye you can freaking 
go back in and relayer it, but you probably will have to like buff and then layer and then buff and then layer. So I'm just being really careful. And I have extremeness on the inner corner of my eyes, so I'm just gonna rub that away. Or at least try to. And then I went in with my Morphe E28 brush, which is a little bit more tapered than the first brush. And I'm just going to go back in with that orangey shade, the Real Gar or whatever. And I want to just make it look a little bit more orange right up under the brow highlight. I don't know why that was just so fucking difficult for me to say, but it was. There we go. Yeah, girl. We're taking chances here. So I did put it underneath my eye. This is that orangey Real Gar color right under the eye and then using that same freaking tapered brush we are going to go in with the red ochre and venetian red more of the red ochre and a hint of the venetian red and we are going to layer that under there as well so after i finished that i tight lined my eyes freaking black eyeliner i seriously think i paid a dollar for it and I tight lined ooh that was crazy I tight lined in my upper and lower waterline and I think I have my MAC 33 uh, I could be wrong MAC 20 I can't read the numbers they're 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 coming off so I just went in there and I went in with kind of a lot and I didn't do a wing this time which that's bold. <laughs> so I just lined my eye with this. Just got a text message. Just going to go in and do the other one. And I just did it like super basic. Okay. So when I do this, like if you look like this one's a little jacked and this one's better. So what I like to do is what everybody does here on YouTube. And I do go in with a liquid uh, liquid uh, liner to, to clean it up. So this is just the Maybelline, the Maybelline Line Stiletto. And that just kind of like evens up your shitty edges. Like, that sounded weird. So like when you do your liner and the edges are just like janky looking, um, like, I don't know how to say it, like jagged. They're not straight across. Like sometimes when you do your liner, you can tell like where you stopped and had to like get more product and start again. Fuck, I just did some cards. Um, this just cleans it up. So there's that. And then I'm gonna throw on a little bit of mascara. I've been really, really liking the Tartlet. This is like Tartlet. I don't know what the name of it is, but the shit is is really <gasps> holy shit rain i cannot believe this look what my dog just did to my fucking beauty blender well that's just have it just keep it because it's ruined i ain't using it again so i'm just gonna put on this mascara i can't believe my dog just did that all right so i am going to go apply the demi wispies and i'll be right back and they're on was the L'Oreal Infallible. So this is what we're gonna use. Cause I felt like it made my face look pretty freaking flawless. I was actually surprised. I feel like that might've been a lot. So when you get around like where we brought out um, the freaking eyeshadow, you just wanna be careful like, and make sure that you match it on both sides. Like the first time that I did this tu tutorial, I didn't do that at all. And this was a shit ton of foundation. <laughs> I think when I did this tutorial, I was trying to use different products for just everything like than what I normally use. And I still used the Age Rewind concealer for under my eyes. I know I did. And then I put it right here, I put it here. And a little bit right there. So then we're gonna go in with our airspun and use this to set all the concealer that we just did. And it sucks 
because this shit is messy. My dog's trying to like eat it. Like it literally just spilled all over my legs. So I stopped bringing it out to here because Airspun works amazingly, but it brightens so much that you end up looking fucking crazy. I just made a disaster. So we're gonna take a big fluffy brush and literally wipe this off already. Like see, you can tell. It's like if you leave it any longer than that, you end up looking crazy. Like you have a white beard. For my contour, I switched up my brushes and I went back with the Real Techniques sculpting brush. And I'm using my Max, MAC Studio Fix in NW45. I haven't washed these brushes since I did this makeup the last time. <laughs> I have my beauty blender out I am going to go ahead and wipe off under the eyes when I close my eyes, I can see and then I've been going in with this these Sephora drops they're in the color ultralight and this is how I highlight with this I don't even squeeze it out I just smile on the top of my cheekbone, I put some, I put some right here and right there. This is like it has to be blended immediately or you're effed. And I go up and down sideways with the beauty blender with it. Otherwise, it makes my like bags under my eyes like reshow, which highlights kind of do that anyways for me. But... You just want to make sure that you really tap it out because otherwise it's like not blended. Another layer of effing highlight. And we're using the Lorac Tantalizer Duo. We're just going to use the highlight side. For my blush, I'm going to use the same blush that I always freaking use, which is the NARS Outlaw. I like this because it has a little bit of glitter in it. And I really overly packed this on. So there's that. And then now we're going to move on to the lip. Last time that I did this, I like couldn't remember if this was the lip kit that I used. But it is. It's Candy K. And for some reason in my pictures, it showed up way different than the way it actually looks. Fudge. I'm going to have to go sharpen this. I just lined the lips. I'm going to use my little mirror for this. And the way that I got this color... Sorry if you guys hear that, it's my dog. He's out of food, so I need to go get him some. Dude, my dog's like, bitch, stop doing your makeup. And then I put just a little bit of the actual lipstick because it's so freaking drying. It's so drying, it will like peel off and it's not cute. I will literally just put it in the middle and that's it. There. Now this concludes the tutorial. So this concludes the makeup that you guys saw in my last video that you wanted to see a tutorial of how it was done. I am going to be doing other tutorials here on my channel because you guys requested like the black owned uh, makeup tag and the dollar store one or the dollar tree or whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it took me so long to get it up. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.